What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to The Matrix Unveiled. My name is Thanuj, and I help people evolve their consciousness. Now, I was thinking about, you know, a video topic, and this, this idea was coming to my mind as I was driving, so I was literally like, okay, I need to share this right now because this is a powerful message. And this is something that I've been focusing on since the new year, since uh, right around the end of December, I felt the energies change within myself and within the collective. But what I'm going to be talking about today is the connection to self and why the connection to self is so powerful and so important and why the connection to self is your fundamental truth and why it's actually the, the most important thing in your life. Okay, so what do I mean when I say the connection to self? When I say the connection to self, I mean your own consciousness, your own spirit. And of course, all is one. So when you are focused primarily on yourself and your own spirit, you're actually being the most in tune with everyone else. But see, what happens in this, this modern world, many of us, we long for connections with other people. We long for connections with, with uh, you know, twin flames, with relationships, with, with family members, with uh, friends, with other people online. And really what's going on here at a deeper level is that we are longing for a connection for ourself. We are longing to know ourself and we are thinking that these people are going to fulfill us in that way when they're not going to fulfill us in that way because what's happening is that they're actually just mirroring back to us deeper aspects of ourselves. So we may feel captivated by being in their presence or by being around them or by connecting with someone and be deeply connected to someone. We may feel better. We may feel more in tune. We may feel happier. But then when that person goes away or when we're no longer in you know, connection with that person, we no longer feel that way. So right around, you know, the, at the end of December or so, um, maybe a couple of weeks ago, I really started feeling this urge of my spirit to connect deeper with myself again and to go way deeper into my own consciousness and to really take my meditation to a next level, uh, my spiritual practices. And um, this, I have to give credit to the ayahuasca ceremonies that I was doing recently because they really helped me clear out anything that was not myself. And they showed me like, look, I'm going to give you this catalyst. The ayahuasca was a catalyst. It was like saying like, I'm going to give you this catalyst of energy to clear yourself out. And then that's going to give you this motivational boost. It was like a spiritual boost in terms of my motivation to connect deeper to myself, in terms of my motivation to uh, want to meditate more, want to work with my energy more and just be more immersed and really explore who I am as consciousness, who I am as this being, as this, as this center. And of course, because of that, certain sacrifices have to be made. I have to spend less time, um, you know, coaching people, less time, you know, making videos, less time hanging out with other people and more time going within, more time sitting with myself. So these are the kinds of energies that I was feeling recently. And I want you to understand that, you know, connecting to yourself is so beautiful. It will literally make you feel love. You will fall in love with yourself. That is the frequency that I've been feeling where I love myself. And I know it sounds cliche. I know it sounds funny, but um, it really is the truth that when you get to this point in your journey, you know, you can really just sit there and you can, you can tap deeper into not only yourself, but also the universal force. As I talked about in the, the video yesterday that I made, you tap, you tap into this deeper aspect of consciousness and you fall in love again with your spiritual process and your spiritual journey. So if you've been on this journey for years, if you've been on this journey for a long time, sometimes we forget what we're even, you know, working towards or what we're actually doing. And we can get caught up in the, the external noise of the world, which I felt was happening to me at a certain point. Okay. It was happening at, at, at a certain point where I was, you know, cause I was so focused on making videos and creating and, uh, you know, um, coaching and everything and making my courses and, you know, improving the quality. Of course, naturally I had to swing a little bit away from myself in order to put out all that material. And now it's like swinging back and it's saying, Hey, go back to self again, go deeper into yourself. And, um, it's a new place. It's a new level of consciousness. It's a new level of groundedness. In fact, I've been talking with different people, uh, certain friends 
and they were like, wow, dude, it looks like you really, you're really grounded in your presence again, or, you know, you definitely got deeper into your presence and I can acknowledge you. And, you know, there were certain, cer certain, uh, negative situations that had happened recently within the past, like three, three weeks, a, a few fallouts with different people. And still I was able to remain completely grounded in self. And that is so beautiful because you know, when somebody leaves you or when you leave them, it's not really a problem. It's not really a problem. As long as you have yourself, it's not a big deal. You know, we only feel like we lost someone when we were attributing our happiness and our attachment and our love to them. So if you had a fallout with a friend or, you know, a boyfriend or a girlfriend and you feel like you're miserable, it's because you were attributing your happiness and your love to them. If you're, if you're, you know, if you've done some deeper work and you have a fallout and, you know, fallout, I don't have, it doesn't have to be negative. It doesn't have to be like something that happened badly. It could just be like, you know, the frequency is no longer aligned really. Okay. So if you have that kind of a situation and you are deeply connected to yourself and you're rooted in your presence and your being, and you have, um, you know, a deep connection to spirit, you're going to be okay. You're not going to feel, you know, much sadness or negativity. So this is why the fundamental thing that you should focus on in your life is the connection to self. Okay. This is why the connection to self is the most important thing. And when I say self, I mean, capital self, capital S capital E capital L capital F. Okay. So connection to self entails not just yourself as this being, but also the unity consciousness field, the entire source of being of existence. When you connect to that, you, you realize you can never lose anybody because they're always in that field. They're always in that energy. Okay. So another thing you can do just, a you know, um, a little caveat here, a little piece of advice is that if you have like positive memories and you are feeling that longing or that loss, you can of course go into the astrals and replay the memories because they're in your mind, right? And your mind is just a computer. It's just a it's just a system that's holding frequencies and you can tap into those frequencies and replay them in a dreamscape and then just enjoy that frequency. And, and you can even talk with that energy signature and, you know, reconcile. This is something I've done in the past, you know, when I've had a uh, certain friends leave me or whatever, you know, instead of talking to them physically or, you know, trying to connect with them and reconnect in, in the physical, I'll just go to the astrals or my subconscious will do it in a dream. It'll build a little dream for me and I'll be able to talk with them and reconcile. And then the energy is dissipated and there's no longer hard feelings or any sort of negativity. And you come back to self again. So really take this new year. This is what I'm going to be doing for the new year. You know, of course, I'm going to be creating new content for you guys and, and for this channel because that's my life purpose. But I'm really going to be taking 2021 to going deeper into myself, deeper into my connection to the force, to the universe and, uh, you know, to my own spirit and, and to healing and to really working on it. I've really stoked the flames of passion of spirituality once again. And it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Like the world has become even more divine and <laughs> it's just an uphill journey. And sure, there's going to be, you know, dips in your journey, but it's, um, it's something that, you know, you're steadily going up. So we're steadily going up in frequency. I felt like making this video to share with you guys why the connection to self is fundamental in your existence. And, um, if you're really unhappy, if you're really depressed, if you feel negative, most of the time, if you feel like you're longing for somebody, you're longing for a twin flame, you're longing for a relationship, or you exhibit signs of neediness, like you're a needy person. You need other people to connect with you. You need to be talking to people all the time. Um, you can't sit by yourself. You need to always distract yourself with the phone or with, with technology or with the internet, with Facebook or something. These are all signs that you, you haven't tapped deep enough into self. And so you're suffering and you're looking for external band-aids on this wound that is not knowing yourself, not knowing your spirit truly. So I recommend that you sit with yourself and you go deeper and, um, you know, you work through those wounds and you work through those, that, that pain, that suffering. Now, of course, if you need help, I'm a spiritual coach, a spiritual guide, so I can help you, of course, and you can apply for my coaching in the description below. Um, I'm not taking too many applicants for 2021 because as I said, I prioritize myself and, you know, my own healing and my own journey now more than my, my business and my YouTube channel and everything. And all of this stuff, I love everything that I'm doing. But 
in this part of my journey, I've now taken more energy for myself and more energy for my own being and less energy for the external. So that's where I'm at. I figured that this video would help some of you guys if you're struggling, um, if you're feeling like you're in a negative spell or a negative situation. It's because you haven't tapped deep enough. And um, it's not really a cliche thing to say unless you really, really do go deeper in. So if you're, if you're, you're, you know, not happy with the external world, if you're not feeling good about your position in life, go within, seriously go within and figure out what's going on in here. What is inside of your, your being, what kinds of thoughts are you having? And when you start to rewire your being, when you start to restructure your being, you will heal yourself. You will come back anew. Okay. Much love. Um, last thing I want to say actually is I recommend, you know, multiple hours of meditation a day. Like seriously, this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be meditating for like three to five hours a day, um, multiple times a week, probably like five or six times a week, because I really am going to go deep and, and just, you know, find everything in my being that's disaligned and just release it and, and just do this. So much love guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love each and every single one of you. Um, I appreciate all the support on this channel. Again, my spiritual life coaching is in the description below and my courses for all of the energy mastery and deeper gnosis of, of my channel and my frequency is in on my website, The Matrix Unveiled. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave me a comment below what you think and um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.